Meanwhile, amid all this, Hillary Clinton does not seem at all concerned about a possible indictment. She says Republicans have been after her for ages, and investigations like this are just business as usual for her. They live in that world of fantasy and hope because they've got a mess on their hands on the Republican side. That is not going to happen. There is not even the remotest chance that it's going to happen. But look, they've been after me, as I say, for 25 years. So I think this plays right back into where you guys were going at it. <clears throat> and, and that has to do with how we see what's happening. And that's what I think Bernie Sanders is trying to say that he sees whether he used the wrong prefix on the word I, I don't know it's not for me to say but it is interesting you can't deny what's happening even comey says he's got to make sure that it doesn't seem like politics anyone else but hillary clinton at this point would have been behind bars i have no idea she's so confident about everything she says and i can't wait for uh you know for the other you know when it turns out to be uh, wrong for her you know? but but can we just acknowledge that james comey i think we could all agree is somebody who's not a partisan hack. And so if he recommends an indictment, I think Democrats should take that seriously and not say he's doing the bidding of some Republican conspiracy. But if he doesn't recommend an indictment, can we just say that he did an investigation that found that she did nothing criminally wrong that warrants an indictment? And my concern here is that people are so, again, this is like a Rashomon movie where everybody wants to see what they want to see. And ultimately, let the FBI do its job. She has no choice but to say that there's not going to be an indictment. She can't say, well, we'll see what happens. She's running for president. Maybe she needs to stop laughing about it because when, uh, when Matt Lauer asked her about the handcuffs remark, Republicans want to see you in handcuffs, she did that <laughs> thing. Whoa, you sound nice. And she, and you know what? She, as yeah. Judge Napolitano said, oh. she's laughing at the FBI. And oh. I'm dying to see if she goes in and sits down for an interview with them. Because if you lie to the FBI, they can lie to you when they interview you. She can't lie to them. Ask Martha Stewart what happens. You get, in, wow. you, you get but, convicted. But her argument is somehow that Republicans are after her. This is not the vast right-wing Federal Bureau of Investigation. This is Obama's FBI. And I disagree with you on Comey. If you remember, Comey's a political guy. I mean, this was the same guy that wouldn't reauthorize the NSA bill when John Ashcroft was in the hospital. They had to go to Ashcroft's bedside to try and get him to sign these documents. And, and Ashcroft Comey, wouldn't. Comey Comey is a political guy, Julie, but Comey's not the problem. The FBI is going to do their work. This team of people investigating her, very skilled. I believe they're going to make a recommendation for indictment. It's not going to happen at Obama's DOJ. And the reason why she's so cocky is because the White House is giving her cover. Even the president has given her cover. But Andrew, That's why you she's, just, you she just back, she's not You just backed up my point. James Comey was working for the Bush administration and wouldn't go along with what they wanted. What makes you think that he would go along with something the Obama administration wanted? Because he was currying favor with liberals even back then. Why would you say that? There's nothing because in his resume. The Nothing in his resume to back that up. The reality, of course, there no, is. No, there isn't. And by the way, he's he can't, a political he guy. Can't, well, so any FBI yeah. under your scenario, any FBI director is a, f a political guy. Then who can do this investigation? No, to your that's not what I'm saying. I it think is. he's going to trust his agents. I think he's going to trust the agents. And they'll listen. And they're going to recommend charges. This group that's investigating her, they're very serious and very good. Okay. It's the DOJ. Fine. It's Loretta Lynch that Fine. will not. But indict. don't you think that if there's a recommendation by James Comey and the Justice and the FBI that we will know about? It, in which case, of course, in which it'll case, be leaked. Of course, <laughs> <laughs> that's, ex that's, ex that's exactly my point. That's exactly my point. So the reality is, let's wait and see. But conversely, if there's no recommendation by the FBI, you can't then turn around and say James a Comey's matter. a political critic. Yeah, because I mean, obviously yes. there's some criticism that Comey thinks that he needed to quell, right? If he, he's talking about timing for a reason, that didn't just pop onto the landscape. The non-factor to him is whether or not there's a convention coming up. The timing doesn't matter, but it does matter because if it happens before or after you know, November, it's a big deal. Yeah. She right. did something illegal, and that's just the, the, the point about this, is that no matter what, it's going to happen. Whether it's going to be down two months from now or at the end of the year, it's going to happen. It's just a matter of... But the whole administration operates above the law, and yeah, she's part that. of an administration. Absolutely. It's the whole administration that does it. That's why she won't face any... But you can't have it one right. way or the other.